Hi. I'm being dead. Mark here from Southern California Tactical Airsoft, and today we finally made it back to what many of you know as my favorite series on this channel. So without further delay, welcome to What's Your Loadout, Episode 4. So what's your loadout? I normally run a tactical kit, which is made by Damn Near Kilt Mall, which is actually a great company name. I usually run a Crytek, which is, I think, one of the better rifles you can buy. Uh, I don't buy anything expensive usually, like my plate carriers, a Condor. Nothing too special about it. Uh, I run multiple different colors, usually tan or green. It's usually my loadout, basically. <laughs> uh, today we're kind of doing a Russian thing. I call it Russian light. The only real Russian here is I got the uh, jig on top here from Airsoft Mega Store. And I got my prize down here, but keeping it green, so you know, making it easier for everyone to identify each other on the field. Um, Got to have the AK, of course, if you're doing the Russian loadout. This is the Beta Project, PTS hybrid um, AK here. Um, then I got the J-Gun vest here and a bunch of um, mag pouches here, pretty much just the essentials. I'm skipping the sidearm today because it's hot and I already got enough stuff on me, so I'm going minimal. On top, I just got a green Condor hat with my Brain Exploder GoPro mount and some Under Armors here that I've been wearing for a couple years and really digging them. And I think that pretty much sums it up. I got some mid caps here off camera and ready to go out there and um, hopefully win this thing tonight. Um, I have a Polestar Jack with the Crytek body, Yieldtech, Bravo Peg Box, Die I4 with the Brain Exploder mount, uh, Pig Brig with the Extreme Tronics patch, shout out to them or else I wouldn't be here and a Condor hydration pack, Voodoo Tactical tan shirt, and just jeans and PF flyers. That's about it. So I'm gonna be running a uh, Barrett uh, HPA Polar Star. Um, I'm basically just gonna be doing a sniper support loadout, gonna be calling out positions. Uh, I'm hitting ranges up to 400 feet, or uh, 400 feet plus with 32 gram BB, so I'll be providing the support. All right, so my loadout today, I'm running my XTR on an 11.1 .1 volt LiPo with two fives. Um, so I'm gonna be playing some field support today, just kinda, you know, mid-range, good, good field support. I have, I run a uh, JG G36K with, um, it's a high speed, so it has a high torque motor in it, 12, SHS 12.1 gears, it's got an M90 spring in it. And then I run a um, KJW KP05 high kappa. My loadout is an uh, Echo 1 M28 um, um, bolt action rifle um, with a 3x9 variable scope, a H uh, VS HFC um, Mac 11. I run also a, a GNG um, combat machine that I uh, custom built into a DMR setup. I also run a ghillie suit, if you guys see on my back. I also run a uh, two, 2.5 liter hydration carrier on my back and also on occasions I'll run a Dan Weston revolver. Uh, my loadout is first of all we're going to start with the helmet. Okay, It's a bump helmet I customized with some paracord and I took some time and customized the inner pads. That's unique, nobody can see that, my, my helmet's going to be very comfortable. Of course, I run the paintball mess. Doesn't have any fogging issues. It works great. Um, rocking with the primary, the Echo One Platinum, fully custom. Shoots about 400 feet per second. Customized grips. And I love this gun. I got a lot of kills on the gun. I love rocking it. With that, I rock the PTS mags, EMP, uh, tactical cross draw vest. With that, I carry my Elite Force 1911 Limited Edition. Also, customized grip. Really enjoy it. Really cool. Tears up my gloves, though. <laughs> my loadout, it's a semi-high speed with a Crytek CRB. Uh, I have it all loaded out so I can sustain the entire day. So my loadout um, is right here. I'm running an Opscore Carbon Fast Helmet, and then I have the um, What's it called? The Impact Sport headset, so that I can run it down to my push to talk and then my radio so we can run comms. 
And then for my play carrier, I'm running a Ferro Concepts play carrier with uh, a Kydex insert and Blue Force gear. And then um, for my battle belt setup, I'm running just a normal Riggers belt and I've mounted two tacos, my two grenade pouches, my holster with my TM Glock. And then for my gun, I have my Polar Star Mark 18. So I'm running for a gun. I'm doing a Crytek SPR with a um, PTS Fortis grip. I have it back at the Fortis shift grip. I have it back at the table. I just didn't bring it with me. I'm running an Avengers JPC with uh, seven KWA mags up top and two on a battle belt and a couple in my backpack, which I'm running later. Just got standard MIC 2001 helmet and uh, ATAC BDUs. Uh, right now I'm rocking an NJPC with a uh, gas blowback walk. Uh, a couple Kydex systems right here for my flashbang. Propane tank on the back. Simple and effective. Uh, my loadout's uh, it's a whip. Uh, the LBX uh, 0094 speed draw vest. Um, and uh, with some Helicon freaking SFU pants. Rocking half and half multicam uh, woodland. Essentials only pretty much. So I run a JPC plate carrier with HSGI tacos. I like the HSGI tacos because you can, uh, they're open, you don't have to move anything, you can just get those quick reloads in. And then I have a uh, camelback on my back for instant hydration. Um, I are soft because when I was younger, everyone plays video games, and this was the way for me to live that, like live playing Call of Duty or Battlefield and live playing that. It's a good community sport. Teaches, I think it teaches kids honor and it teaches a lot of fun stuff that you can do that you wouldn't get to do anywhere else. Um, I airsoft just because it's a fun, I, I feel like it's a fun sport, you know, it's something to do, get out there better than doing nothing, you know. Um, it's also a good community sport too. It's good to get people interested in airsoft. It's a fun thing to do with friends mostly. Meet new people is one, uh, exercise is another. Uh, I find it fun. I never really was a paintball guy because paintball is kind of, it's dirty in my, <laughs> how I see it. But I like, just like it, just how I, why I play. I like to meet new people, uh, have new friends. Uh, and I like, uh, I like the game. I guess you can say that. You know, I airsoft because it gives me the opportunity to be out there with my kids and uh, really spend some time with my son. I airsoft because it's a good hobby. It keeps me out of trouble and just a good time to have with friends. That's it. Um, uh, it's really most of it is just hanging out with people. It's a lot of cool people in airsoft. Something about an honor sport that brings a certain type of people a certain type of person to the field, I think. So a lot of the people we meet are really cool. Plus it's physical exercise, which helps. And it's, you know, a real life video game. It's kind of has a lot of benefits to it other than just sitting at home watching TV. I airsoft because it's like honestly really fun just to have fun on the field, just go and I guess just shoot some people. It's just fun. Uh, mainly to get ready for the military. I leave in a couple months to uh, go to boot camp for the Marine Corps. I airsoft because it's a, it's a fun hobby. My friends got me into it and I just, I like the adrenaline rush part, part about it. It lets me get out with my friends more. It's fun. It's really fun with your, with your friends and like, you know, you just get to like run up and like shoot people. But it's like more of a good way, so. Well, First I started off, I would play Call of Duty, I got bored of it. I'd go play Battlefield, I got bored of it. I went up, I started playing Arma after a while. It got boring, so I heard of Airsoft. So I went out one day with a bunch of my friends, with a bunch of rented guns. And the first day, I went Airsofting, I loved it. And the second day I came, um, I brought a whole bunch of new weaponry and stuff. I Airsoft to um, keep fit and get ready for the Air Force. I'm enlisting uh, next summer after I graduate high school. Because uh, it keeps me out of trouble and it keeps me um, entertained in the sport. I really like airsoft because it's, I've tried a lot of sports and I feel like this is definitely the most fun sport I've ever played. And it's a sense of like, really, you get really good teamwork in and it's just, a, it feels very rewarding after you're done playing a game. And then knowing that you were able to work together with your team and to complete the objective. And also, I just, I just really enjoy the sport. It's a lot of fun. 
ISF because it's really fun for once, great exercise, and it's a lot better. I love getting that sense of deja vu where I'm playing Battlefield and then all of a sudden I'm doing it myself. I'm like, wow, this is that's what I'm doing right now. This is crazy. It's fun. Uh, shooting at people, getting shot back, running around, having a good time, making lots of friends. So I've done this for like six, seven years. I've made lots of friends over that time. And it's just fun. Because I have a passion for it. You know, I've been, I've been playing for about 15 years since I was 10 years old. So I come out here to have fun. I come out here to gain respect from the other players. But most of all, I come out here to better myself, you know, because I, uh, you know, when I move on the field, I try and be as real as I can, or at least, um, you know, similar to a real type of movement, because these kind of movements right now can work in the real world as well. It's just you have to learn how to manipulate your weapon, your sidearm, you know, so it's mainly, mainly to better myself. That's why I'm out here. And obviously to have a great time doing it. Um, I don't know, it's something that I kind of picked up uh, like through high school and it kind of stuck with me. I like it because uh, it's like, half sport half hobby and um and it also uh, makes my movements faster in the real world real real world <laughs> i like it just because it's fun to get out here buddies and shoot people with bbs it's it's a fun activity to do and it's great i airsoft because it's a fun activity it's um it's like running but with weight and it's in a fun way Mostly it's all around fun and it's a nice hobby and it's something that I can just go on a weekend with my friends. Um, uh, Inakatsu, Gangle Defense, Mark 18. I'd probably have a gas blowback, uh, 416C, little compact M4. I don't really know right now as far as what I really want. I usually custom build my own gun so I get to that point where one gun, buying one particular gun doesn't, it doesn't do it for me anymore. I think I just keep um, my SPR and just put more money into it, make it look better. That was my dream gun and I finally got to buy it the, this past year and I've had a lot of fun with it. I would have this. This is my baby. This is my custom Polar Star. Here, I'll take off the barrel cover. This is my custom Polar Star Mark 18. Uh, probably a 416C with a Polar Star in it. Ooh. Probably a Crytek SPR, um, probably stock or with a uh, Polar Star unit. I'd have to say the minigun, right? <laughs> I think I'd try to get a RPK. Probably uh, the Echo One minigun. <laughs> I already got them, but uh, saws, M4s, mostly NATO style weaponry, American mostly. Uh, probably a Chris Vector. Actually, I think I got all the guns I, I ever wanted. I would say the new Umbrella DSGs, the Alpha line. Well, I got like 50 guns, so I'm pretty halfway there. But um, I've been digging that new Modify XTC. I know it's super boring, it's an M4, but it looks really cool. So Modify, if you're listening, send it. <laughs> I really want like a minigun just to hose people down. But I mean, I can't run that because I want to run around and do my dancing and everything. So. I wouldn't have anything more than what I already own, I guess. <laughs> this is probably my dream gun right here. <laughs> uh, Polar Star M4. I don't know, man, that's a tough question. It depends on what I'm playing, but if I was playing like field support, I'd want to have a really solid performing AR-15, you know, probably 25 rounds a second, right at 400. Really just a solid performing gun, nothing too fancy. Uh, probably the uh, Umbrella Armory. Uh, Charlie airsoft gun. It's like the MK18 Polar Star, and I love it. It's like it looks sick. <laughs> uh, slow, <laughs> probably. I like distance shooting. I like to shoot 200 plus feet, but I do lion claw style, which is multi is mil sim type. Shoot them close up, stuff like that. All types of airsoft fine. Well. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually a speed stopper. Uh, but I get, I play all. I guess I play a speed stop. Uh, I play CQB and Milson. 
My style of play is, um, I, I, I think it's dictated by the weapon. Something like this, I'm gonna be trying to be more towards the front there. I got some range on it, but you know, I'm not gonna be sitting back and trying to blink at people. But you know, if I'm using a long gun, I will be hanging back, taking my time. If I'm using a pistol, I'm gonna try to rush. So it's kind of dictated by the weapon. I like playing aggressive. I like keeping the enemies on their toes at all times. I like pushing fast because as long as the enemies are down, it allows the team to push up more. And that's why it's, it's really efficient. Um, more aggressive, speed. I rely on speed and try to get as far as I can and just sit there and rack up kills. It depends on um, what I'm going up against. Sometimes I like to be elusive and sometimes I like to be aggressive. I would say passive aggressive. You know, I'm uh, actually I'm a very aggressive person. I uh, I take the fight to them. You know, I don't really like sitting back waiting for the enemy to come to me. So I like to bring the fight to them. You know, I'm very up in their face about it. My style of play is taking out the enemies at all cost. More CQB, fast play. More on the speed soft kind of kind of mo moving into some Milson stuff, but still more of the fast paced games. Uh, Milson because it's it's more of like a tactical I don't really like CQB but if I had to with my friends and yeah but I, I would prefer Milson uh, it's speed soft I play speed soft which basically you just run up the field really as fast as you can and shoot as many people as possible I like to just uh, be offensive most of the time um, I usually it depends I vary I usually play uh, either in the back or I will be like I am right now a sniper or up front um, I have multiple guns just based on different loadouts. I'm actually carrying a P90 on my back um, just for up close in case I need to. So I usually stay kind of um, front mid mostly, um, but I also kind of help my buddy over there snipe sometimes, but you know, just kind of front mid. Probably more field play because I like more reaching out and touching someone versus something that's so close and I, I almost have to go to a hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm more of a passive aggressive, like if I know I'm gonna go die, I'm not gonna try to speed soft across. I'm gonna try to, I try to stay back and if I do have the, like if I have three, four people with me, I will try to move up. I like to be up on, uh, up in the front attacking. Um, I would say I'm more of a Milson player. I would say because, um, I mean, I wouldn't say like if you, like if you look at our kits, I wouldn't say we're like speed soft, but I would say we look more Milsim. But typically, we just kind of do what works. We're not really speed soft or Milsim. We just do what works for us. Um, I kind of like to move up slowly, um, work with my team to get good firing angles, and I don't like to rush up too far because um, we play a lot of medic games in my local field, and I don't like to get stranded up there. I like more of a support support role for my team.